and welcome back. Today, in this lesson, we'll be learning about how to give your information to another person in English. When, we, uh, when going to another country or another place, you might meet people and become friends. When this happens, you might want to exchange personal information. And in this lesson, I'm going to show how you might be able to handle that. So let's do a bit of a recap on introductions. So how can we introduce ourselves in English? Here's how. Hello, how are you? And you might reply, I'm good. What about you? What is your name? My name is Oliver. Nice to meet you. So, hello, how are you? I am good. What about you? What is your name? My name is Oliver. What about you? Nice to meet you. So here we have introduced ourselves and also asked for somebody's name. Please. When asking for something, we use the word please. For example, please. Please can I? Please give me. So, please, please can I, please give me. This is a polite and correct way to ask for information. So, telephone numbers. If you want to get in touch with someone after meeting each other, you might want to call the person again. We ask for their mobile number or you can provide them with yours. So how do we ask for a phone number? Here. Please, can I have your number? Please, can I have your number? What is your mobile phone number? What is your mobile phone number? Please could you provide me with your telephone number? Please could you provide me with your telephone number? This one is formal. If you are asked, you would reply, yes. My phone number is, and give them the number. So, please can I have your number? What is your mobile phone number? Please could you provide me with your telephone number? And you would reply, yes, my phone number is, and then give it to them. How do you give it to them? Well, Remember, in English, we read a phone number as a number at a time. And you can pronounce the zero as either a zero or O. So, for this number, you would read out aloud 01822456 Or, you could pronounce it O one eight two two four five six nine O eight eight. Now you can give your number to somebody in English. So now we have address. An address is the information you use to show where you live and where people can send mail to you. You might want to provide this if you want somebody to meet you at your house. Addresses include the street number, name of the street, the apartment or block, and also the city, region, 
and zip or postcode, depending on the country. So, your address includes street number, name of the street, apartment or block number, city, region, and zip or postcode. But how would you ask for it? So, you can ask for it in a couple of ways. Please, can I have your address? So, please, can I have your address? Could you provide me with your address? Could you provide me with your address? This one is very formal. If you were asked for your address, you would respond, yes, my address is, and this is the order in which you would need to write it out. So first, you would start with your name, your name, and you'd write your name on the first line. Then, you would write the street, the street. Write your street address and apartment number on the second line. First, second. Then, you would write the city, the city. You'd write your city on the third line, third line. Then, you would write your region, your region. Write your region on the fourth line. Finally, you would write your post or zip code. Post or zip code. And you'd write your zip or postcode on the final line. So you have your first, second, third, fourth, and final line. It should look something like this. So you've got your name, your street, your city, your region, and your post or zip code. So you've got your first line, second line, third line, fourth line, and final line. Each line ends in with a comma like this, a comma. So you've got James Harrington, comma, 22 Sunny Hill Road, comma, Plymouth, comma, Devon, comma, PL008B0. So if you want to get in touch with someone after meeting each other, you may choose to contact each other via email. This is a great method of communicating with each other worldwide, quickly and for free. So we can ask for their email or you can provide yours, similar to a telephone number. So how do we ask for an email? It's very similar to asking for a telephone number. We say, please can I have your email address. Please can I have your email address. Or what is your email? What is your email? Please could you provide me with your email address? So please could you provide me with your email address? This one again is formal. As you can see, it's just as simple as asking for a phone number. So, please can I have your email address? What is your email? Please could you provide me with your email address? If you asked for your email address, you would reply, yes. My email is, and then you can either write it down or read it to them. So this is what it looks like when you write it down. 
when you read out the email, you read it as English Wizard at ABC dot com. So you'd read out the first part at ABC dot com. You may be asked to provide your date of birth. This is the same date as your birthday. So from remember, so remember from before, the United Kingdom, the date is organized as day, month, year. First is the day, second is the month, and third is the year. For the days, we use ordinal numbers, and then we spell out the month. When using number dates, the months are organized 1 to 10, as in January to December, and then the year is pronounced as we have previously learned. So let's recap the months. Number one is January. Number one, January. Number two, February. Number two, February. Number three, March. Number three, March. Number four, April. Number four, April. Number five, May. Number five, May. Number six, June. Number six, June. Number seven, July. Number seven, July. Number eight, August. Number eight, August. Number nine, September. Number nine, September. Number ten, October. Number ten, October. Number eleven, November. Number eleven, November. And number twelve, December. Number twelve, December. So January is first, February second, March third, April fourth, and so on. So for example, we have nineteen seven two thousand and nine. We read it out as nineteenth of July two thousand and nine. 19th of July 2009. Here we have 21, number 1, 1964. But we read it out as 21st of January 1964. 21st of January 1964. Why don't you give it a try with yours? What is your date of birth? Have a go. And finally, thank you. So, when you have received information from someone, you can respond with a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This just shows that you are happy to receive the information given. So let's use it in practice. For example, this is you. Please can I have your number? I would respond, yes. My phone number is 01822 456 9088. Then you would say, thank you. Thank you. And everyone, thank you.